I'm going to go out on a limb here. <clears throat> if you're in a position where you can't give this person a hug, as one human being to another, in full fellowship and loving kindness, then you shouldn't be there. This is not your place in the, in the world. We're children of God. You need to be in company where the relationship is love, not rank. See, there's no one between you and God. God dwells in you. You actually, aware of it or not, embrace him eternally and him you. You are ever in each other's embrace. There's no one between you. And that's what matters. And the more you can become aware of this relationship, the more you will be aware of kingdom living, if you like. It's a bad phrase, kings are associated with all sorts of... Mm, we won't go into it. It's a loving relationship. In fact, when it comes to it with God, is far more our dearest friend than some uh, mm, to be elevated. You see, he doesn't require elevation. He is what he is. All that was, is, and ever will be. And we are utterly at peace in each other's embrace. You and him. He's the perfect friend. Think of it as divine mother and divine father, if you wish whilst you were giddy. But when you become an adult in the kingdom of heaven, it's not that you'll be overawed by God. You will be inner awed by God. You are his glory. We are all his glory, his children. And to put it in these terms here, his reason for living eternally. And ours. Love you, Dad. Love you, Dad. Love you, Dad.